is a call sheet? A call sheet is a document that's sent out to all of the cast and the crew of that project that outlines all of the details for filming. Okay, now you'll receive a call sheet uh, whether you book a commercial, a TV series, or film. Okay, and print shoots, some print shoots also do have call sheets as well. All right, so for the sake of this video, obviously, because this is book that commercial, we're going to focus on commercial call sheets. Okay, but across the board, call sheets are generally all the same. You're, you're generally going to find some of the same information on a television, a film, or commercial call sheet. Okay, there are some slight differences here or there, but for the most part, it's, it's kind of the same, basically. Okay, so first off, before we dive into the different elements of a call sheet, some people are probably wondering, when do you receive this call sheet? So the call sheet will be emailed out to you the night before your shoot, okay? So the night before you have your commercial shoot, your television shoot, your film shoot, you will receive it. You can receive that call sheet midnight. It could be 8 p.m., 7 p.m., 6 p.m. So if they're filming um, the previous day before you're filming, um, whenever they wrap, that's after they wrap, then they will send out that call sheet. So if they have a late wrap day, uh, then it'll be sent out later. If they're not filming late that day, then you might get it earlier. You might get it maybe during the, in the morning or in the afternoon. Like you could receive it any time of the day. But most of the time, generally, you do receive your call sheet the night before. So I would say any time in the evening is the most popular time that you will receive your call sheet. And some people will be saying, well, why? Why do you receive it the night before? Um, why can't you have it three weeks in advance or two weeks in advance? I mean, every once in a blue moon, there are certain projects where you might receive your call sheet, you know, a little bit in advance, like a week in advance or a couple of days in advance or, you know, a month in advance. Those are really kind of like one-off projects, maybe like independent projects. Um, but for the most part, if you're working on a bigger production, a SAG production, or even a non-union commercial production or a SAG commercial production, uh, nine times out of 10, you're going to receive the call sheet the night before or the day before. Okay. Reason being, um, just speaking about uh, television and film production in general, things change. Things can change very quickly when it comes to production. I mean, location issues, uh, permits, um, actors, crew. I mean, so many different things and elements constantly change when it comes to TV and film production that um, it's just more solidified if they can send it out to you the night before, later the night before, because by that time, the night before the shoot, 99% of everything that was set in stone is normally set in stone. Now, granted, the day of filming, things do happen, okay? We know that that's television film production, but it's normally sent out the night before or the day before. Okay. Now let's jump right into the call sheet. Okay. So when you first get your call sheet and you open it up, um, it's going to just be like a document with a whole bunch of different cells. Okay. So let's start at the top. See, uh, the date. Okay. The date is listed there. And then you're going to have the weather, um, and the sunrise, sunset for that day. When the sun comes up, when the sun comes down. At the very top usually is the name of the project, okay? And they'll have next to that, or there'll be a box next to it that says like day two of filming, day three of filming, day one of filming, day one of seven filming. So this particular example that I have up here for you, this is day one of four. That means this is the first day out of four filming dates. So this commercial was filming for four days. So this is just day one. This call sheet was sent out to me. I only worked on just one of the days of this commercial. Okay. Then underneath that, you're going to see the production company. You'll see the production company's name and their address, um, telephone number, where and what ad agency. Now, as you know, with commercial production, um, you have an advertising agency that's associated with all commercial productions. Okay. Because the advertising agency is hired by the brand, the product, or the service to create this commercial, to create this advertisement. So the ad agency, their information will be there as well. As you can see, their information, their name, and their address is listed there. Next, you will see crew call. Crew, that is the crew. So crew is the director, the assistant director, the DP, um, the gaffer, the grips, wardrobe, makeup artist, everybody who's a part of creating that production, okay? So everybody who is a part of 
uh, putting together this beautiful commercial, okay? Underneath that, you'll see client call. Client call is the ad agency, okay? So uh, ad execs, um, anybody from the advertising team that's working specifically on this commercial, um, account managers from the ad agency, anybody from the creative department or, or specifically working on this commercial or associated with this specific brand, um, they're going to be coming uh, to this commercial. So that is one thing that's different from a television and film call sheet. Television and film call sheets normally do not have a client call. It's literally just your crew and your cast, okay? Now, shooting call. We have shooting call. That's the time that they're going to start or they're aiming to start to actually film. The cameras will be rolling at that time, okay? Location is literally just the location where this commercial is being filmed at. Uh, location parking, where uh, everyone can park, the cast and the crew. Um, and he clearly here it says at the location, just tell the attendant at the gate that you're there for the Honeywell shoot. Turn left through the gate to park in the lot. So there's usually some directions there or, or it will say park in parking lot B or parking lot yellow. You know, it'll give you some information if you need that information for parking for cast and crew. Okay. Hospital. They always have the local, the nearest hospital listed on here because emergencies can happen just in case. Okay. So here you see the closest uh, hospital is listed there with their telephone number and address. Okay. All right. And shooting schedule. As you can see, for day one, they have three different uh, sets that they will be filming that day. There's a hangar, there's a pilot's lounge, and there is a G650. So um, this was a Honeywell commercial, industrial commercial that I did many, many years ago. And it was filmed at a small airport in New Jersey. And the hangar is the strip. That's the strip where the uh, plane is. So we actually filmed on the strip. We actually filmed in the Honeywell G60 private jet, which was really nice. That's my first time being in a private jet. Really cool. Um, and then there was also like this really cool lounge there as well. Okay. So um, it'll say the set. Those are the three locations, the hangar, the pilot's lounge, the G650. Those are the three places we will be filming today. Okay. The description of each of those locations, hangar, the airplane is prepped for the day. Pilot's Lounge, the pilot reviews, flight plans, that's what uh, the actor is doing. And then G650 on board, everyone preps for takeoff, okay? So it's just some descriptions of what's actually happening in that scene, okay? And then you have interior, exterior. Interior is inside, exterior is outside, okay? D, in, day, or night. All of these scenes are going to be filmed during the day, so you'll see the D there. Pages, the script... Um, that you have for filming, um, you can uh, put in which pages um, correlate with each film set location, <laughs> like putting it all together. Okay, so apparently here um, they had either minimal commercial copy or they did not have a huge script to be able to say, okay, page one correlates with location number one. So they didn't fill in that information here, okay? Then you'll see cast. Uh, the cast for the day, you have ground crew, you have a pilot, you have a pilot, a first officer, and some business travelers, okay? So, um, and each of those cast members are in certain scenes. So for example, set number one is that the hangar, the ground crew is gonna be there. Then the pilot's lounge, you have the pilot, he's gonna be in there. And G650, you have the pilot, the first officer, and the business travelers are going to be in that scene, okay? Those are the uh, cast members that will be in each of those scenes. Now, come down to the crew. Here, this is um, crew and talent. This basically lists all the crew members and all of the cast for this commercial shoot, okay? And it lists what their role is uh, or what their job title is their telephone number, um, email address, and their call time, okay? So, for example, for the crew, you have the role, the director, his name, his telephone number, his email address, and his call time to set, okay? Talent, you have three talent on this specific commercial. Uh, Kim Akia, she's a business traveler. She's going to arrive camera ready, and we spoke about that. Well, I spoke about that in, in um, a previous video about, you know, 
being makeup ready. Um, and my call time that day was 10.30 a.m. So I was to arrive camera ready. OK, there's no background talent on this specific commercial, as you can see. And then Schema Media uh, is the name of the production company. And it just gives the main um, important people for that production company, like the CEO, the creative director, head of production. That's usually always listed there, even for TV and film as well. Uh, full screen is the ad agency. It has the pertinent head people listed there. Um, and then equipment, picture, miscellaneous. So you have your camera truck, your grip truck, uh, electric truck, production truck. And it just says all of that is going to arrive there at 7.30 a.m. And if there's any additional crew, which is listed there, you have the electric truck and the production truck. OK, and then there's a section for additional notes and instructions. Um, and for this specific shoot, they list, please come having had a craft service will be provided throughout the day. So this is really important. Come having had means come to set having already had your breakfast. Do not come to set looking for food do not come to set looking for breakfast yes our experiences is like you know in the morning when we come to set there's breakfast crafty we've got coffee you know and we can nibble on things in the morning but certain sets do not have breakfast okay but come having had means come having had means come to set already with your belly full do not come here hungry. Do not come here looking for food because we don't have it, okay? So with this specific reduction, they did not provide breakfast. They only provided, uh, I guess, like some craft services throughout the day and lunch, if I recall. It was so long ago, okay? So that's basically what that means, all right? Okay, now if you look at the bottom, you'll see the timeline. Uh, they had a shuttle at 6.15 a.m. Breakfast call. NA, it's not applicable because in the notes it says, please come having had, meaning there is no breakfast, okay? Um, crew call is 7.30. The first shot, the picture up, picture's up. First shot they want to do at 9 a.m., okay? They want to have lunch at 12 p.m. There's going to be a camera wrap at 4 p.m., and they are going to be out of that location. Last out is at 5 p.m. That means camera wrap is, it's a wrap. We're done. Let's pack everything up. And they are literally all packed up in the vans, ready to go, literally driving off and out of that location at 5 p.m. Okay, so that's what that means. Now, um, vendors. At the bottom, you'll see vendors. So this is just um, vendors are people in places where they have rented uh, equipment. Okay, so the camera came from a company called Cinema Vision. Uh, the GE and truck came from a company called Eastern Effects. Their telephone numbers are there. Uh, transportation was provided by a company called Edge Auto Rentals. Their number's there. So those are vendors. Uh, they have rented this equipment from these places. Okay. All right. So, and then at the very bottom, you'll see the first assistant director. Um, it's blank. There was no first AD on this specific project. You'll see also the production manager, Nicholas Lazo. The line producer was also Nicholas Lazo. Okay. So Nicholas was the production manager and he was also in charge of the budget and the money because that's what line producers do. The line producer, line by line, the money, tracking the money, budget. Okay. All right. Production manager, they manage that production. Okay. So these are just the basic elements of a call sheet for those people who have never seen a call sheet, never heard of what a call sheet is, um, never been a set before. This is what you will receive once you have booked the job and the night before you will receive this call sheet. OK, so please do not reach out to production or talent or ad agency people or cast and directors or your agents if you not if you have not received it. I personally say if you have not received it by Huh, <sighs> maybe like 10 p.m., then you want to reach out to somebody. Um, but just hold your horses because, you know, if they're shooting and they're not rapping until midnight, then you won't receive it until after midnight. So you just never know what's going on in production. Um, so if you don't receive it by like 10 p.m., you've heard nothing. You can maybe reach out to your agent and just say, FYI, just wanted to let you know that I have not received a call sheet. It's 10 p.m., but I'm sure when you get up in the morning, I can almost guarantee you, well, I can't, but 
probably more than likely you will have received it uh, early, early in the morning. If you haven't received it by 10, if you haven't received it by midnight, um, then you probably will receive it really, really early in the morning. So just look out for that. OK, so once you have your call sheet, you have all the information that you need um, to be on set. If you have any questions, they usually give you a contact person's name, uh, the person that you can reach out to if you need some sort of assistance or you need questions, you have questions about something. Um, they usually send that in the email with the call sheet. So I hope this helps you. I hope that you book that commercial. I hope you get your call sheet really bright and early the day before. So you're fully prepared. You have that um, address in your ways or your Google Maps ready to go. You have your your makeup and stuff ready if you, you need to do that. You have your wardrobe or outfits lined up if they ask you to bring that. So, um, and you know where you're going, you know what time you have to be there, you know what time you have to get up now. So this will inform you, okay, it's going to take me, what, 30 minutes to get there. Okay, then I need to get up at this time because I got to do this. I got to do my hair or, you know, I take a shower, da, da, da. I got to walk my dog first, da, da, da. Different, I got to drop my child off at the babysitter. So, you know, the call sheet really helps you. It's, it, it really just gives you an outline of your day. OK, but just keep in mind that production is fluid. So things do change. Things could potentially change throughout the day or once you arrive there, things could change. Maybe picture, you know, on the call sheet said that picture first shot was going up at 9 a.m. And they didn't go up until 12 because something crazy happened. So just be prepared for the changes that could potentially happen. But this is like a good guide that they are following and hopefully everything will flow and, and go the way this is or whatever. So. When you book a job, you want to make sure that you are booked for that whole day, even though it says that you might be wrapped at four or I'm wrapping at two or I'm wrapping at four. Book out that entire day. Don't try to do anything else because production can change. And you now you've made plans because it says that you're wrapping out at four. Some do tell you that some call sheets do list what time that cast member is going to be wrapping out. And now you're like, oh, I made plans at three o'clock because I'm wrapping at two and I could take me 30 minutes to drive over to my cousins. I got to da, da, da. I already told them I was coming, bought the tickets, whatever like that. And then next thing you know, two o'clock come, they're like, guys, we have to, something came up. We have to rearrange something. This actor has to leave or something. So we're now we're going to shoot your scene later on in the day. It has happened. Trust and believe it. And now you don't made all these plans. So I say all that to say. Do not make any other plans the day that you book a commercial or television show or feature film. Like, even I don't care how early you're wrapping, just just that day is for your project. Just focus and be present and do the work on that specific project. OK, so that is all I have today for the elements of a call sheet. So if you're a newbie actor, I really hope that this helped you in some way and gave you some insight. If you have any questions or comments about call sheets, Drop it in the comments below. Let me know. I want to know. Have you seen anything, you know, uh, weird or funky on a call sheet? Or have, did you learn something new? Um, yeah, just just drop it below in the comment section. And like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Head over to the website, bookthatcommercial.com. I'm here for you if you need coaching for your commercial audition. And the website has some freebies for actors and some merch as well. So I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Book that commercial and um, make sure you review that call sheet. Okay. <laughs>